overflows. Vivekanand and Samadhi. Before I go into the Samadhi that Vivekanand had, I would like to explain the types, the three layers of Samadhi. In Yoga Sutra that describes the way to reach higher consciousness as you follow the eight limbs of yoga, you can reach the freedom and enlightenment of Samadhi. The realization of your spiritual practices. In Yoga Sutra, Patanjali introduces a systematic path to attain to higher consciousness. This has since been called Raj Yoga or Royal Path. Indeed, it is the journey of techniques and lifestyle guidelines to awaken the mind to its true self. Within the text, Patanjali provides <laughs> a concentrated set of instructions known as eight limbs of yoga, culminating in the state of freedom, liberation, ecstasy and enlightenment, which is Samadhi. The realization of all your spiritual potentials. Patanjali explains that Samadhi is a state of meditative absorption. Samadhi is a state of meditative absorption attained through the practice of dharana, which is focused attention. Dharana is one of the eight limbs of yoga. The focus attention and dhyan, the effortless meditation. When the true essential nature is known without distortion of the mind. It can be thought of as culmination of your meditation process. Samadhi is the mind in its most concentrated state and it is like a laser beam that can be compared to normal thought as normal light. There is a normal light and there is a laser light. So the concentrated state of mind is like a laser beam that is attained through meditation. The awareness of the meditator, the process of meditation and the object of meditation have all merged into one, the three. The awareness of the meditator, the process of meditation, and the object of your meditation have all merged into one. From knowledge you have become knowingness. The mind in Samadhi possesses power that a normal mind does not. Making it a main important tool the yogi uses to achieve the end of end goal of yoga that is joining of the individual self with the universal absolute or dissolution of the individualness to the cosmicness totality. Vedas say that everything in the universe has consciousness, has awareness. Everything in the universe have awareness. The rocks, the plants, the animals, humans, all of these have awareness of a greater or lesser degree. Vedas also state that only human beings, humans, have the potential for self-awareness. Dogs, for example, do not ask, who am I? This means every human being has a potential to become fully aware and reach the ultimate state of Samadhi. However, practice alone does not guarantee Samadhi. It is said in Upanishads, Dhyana Moolam Guru Murti, you are meditating on the image of the Master. Dhyana Moolam Guru Murti, 
puja mulam gurur padam the feet of the master is for adoration dhyan mulam gurur murti puja mulam gurur padam mantra mulam gurur vakyam and the mantra is the word of the master mantra mulam gurur vakyam moksha mulam guru kripa the liberation or samadhi happens by the grace of the master the root of the liberation is the grace of the master to reach samadhi you have to be a deserving one samadhi is beyond normal mind and intellect which makes describing it somewhat difficult it can only be fully appreciated by direct experience vivekanand had the direct experience samadhi has several levels of refinement through which you may ascend first level of samadhi is known as savikalp samadhi the first level of samadhi has four different stages the beginner's stage of savikalp samadhi is where the individual where during the individual meditation you transcend all material mental activities patanjali says for a short period of time you lose all human consciousness in this state the concept of time and space are all together different in savikalp samadhi the concept of time and space are all together different for a minute an hour or even more you are thrown into the other world now you see that practically everything happens spontaneously you have nothing to do thoughts and ideas do not affect you you remain undisturbed and your inner being functions in a dynamic and confident manner however this is not yet a permanent is a state and everybody has to return to ordinary consciousness as you begin to interact this undisturbed state of silence along with disturbed state of waking dreaming and sleeping patanjali describes the four stages of savikalp samadhi the first state of savikalp samadhi is known as it is with logic here the mind totally focuses on the gross aspect of a physical object this is described as examination or learning the inner secrets of the object inner secrets in this state every aspect of the object is understood and you gain full knowledge of the physical aspect this is the first stage the second stage is savichar samadhi or samadhi with thoughts vichar means thought now the mind moves beyond the outer layer of the object and the subtle aspect of the objects that is according to yoga known as tan matra are com- contemplated or discerned the abstract qualities such as redness beauty love sound texture form flavor etc of the object are being understood the difference between the logic and the vichar the third is sa anand samadhi with bliss here the mind is devout of the objective world you move beyond the intellect there is no reasoning or reflection just the tranquility of a mind that is settled the pure mind is only aware of its own joy and nothing else the focus is on inner power of perception 
and within the mind itself it is known as blissful state or samadhi filled with joyful peace the fourth state is sa asmita the awareness of individuality now even the bliss has gone you are just here only the pure ego iness remains at the i am simple awareness of individuality you are here and aware of nothing else you are here and you are simply aware of nothing else this is the ego sense in its elemental form you know the ego as individual this is elemental form no fear no desire this samadhi can be likened to what it is known as in the shankar's tradition as cosmic consciousness the mind becomes fully aware it is a state of witnessing of the material world and you become aware of the divinity or bliss within yourself in savikalp samadhi the latent latent tendencies are the past impressions which condition your life and desires have not been yet dissolved however they is still remain in seed form raman maharishi describes savikalp samadhi as holding on the reality with effort in this samadhi the concentrated mind can begin to access some of the lesser yogic powers called siddhis however because the ego is still present you must be careful how to choose these powers that is siddhis if you use them in with a pure motive you can greatly serve the humanity and will progress on your spiritual path or journey with humility you can if you choose to use them for personal greed or ambition then you may cause harm and shall obstruct your spiritual process the second level is nirvikalp samadhi which vivekanand experience nirvikalp samadhi is the higher state of awareness where ego and the traditions sanskars have been dissolved and only consciousness remains patanjali says the material world has become like a shadow from which you are completely free in nirvikalp samadhi there is no mind and you know it there is only infinite peace and bliss here nature's dance stops and the knower the known becomes one with each other here you enjoy a supremely divine all pervading self amorous ecstasy you become the object of enjoyment the enjoyer and the enjoyment itself means completely dissolve now the heart is fully awake nirvikalp samadhi the first thing you feel that your heart is larger than the universe itself the universe appears to be tiny dot inside your vast heart here there is infinite bliss and infinite power you not only feel bliss but actually become blissful existence the samadhi is similar to divine consciousness described in shankar's tradition a state of deep love for the world and everything in it recognizing the divinity in everything it is entering a celestial realm will enough for today will continue